Hello, very good evening. In today's lecture, basically, we will see that how you can download Android Studio 2021 edition free of cost from uh, Google's developer website. We will also install this software and we will see that how you can install and configure Android Studio on your systems. Uh, my name is Dr. Shan Bhatti. If, if you're here for the first time, please don't forget to visit my page and subscribe to the channel. You will find that on my channel, there are more than 500 video lectures based on PHP, Mail Scripting, Maya, Maya Embedded Language, uh, 3D graphics from developing HTML, CSS, JavaScript to working on Android, Photoshop, multimedia technology and so on and so forth. So these tutorials will be very helpful and very productive for you. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon and receive notifications regularly. Okay, so first thing that you need to do is come on so your web browser and go on to developer.google.com. Now this is the main website there which you need to access in order to download the latest version of Android Studio free of cost. Remember you can download it free of cost and you don't need to pay anything or anybody to download or install it. It's absolutely freely available as an open source. You can use it for whatever purpose you want. Okay, so once we come on to developer.google.com, you will find that there are various different Google products that you can access and download, or you can come here view all products. For our sake, we just concerned with Android Studios. So we click here and basically it will take us to another page that will allow us to download Android Studio for the developers edition. Now, if you scroll down, you will find lots of cool features and new additions that have they have put into this wonderful studio uh, our concern is just the download so right at the top you will find android studio link here just click on this button and it will redirect you again to the page where you can download android studio uh, for yourselves now you can go on to the download options for more customized version if you're downloading for and linux or apple or some other thing in our case we are just downloading the latest 2021 edition for android uh, for windows 64 bit version Okay, so what you do is just simply click here. It will give you the basic uh, license agreements. Just read through it. Click on I have agreed and click on this button. As soon as the, you click on this button, a message uh, will pop up asking you to download this software. So save it as and download it as. I will get back to you once my download is complete. Okay, so now we have downloaded Android Studio. It is as simple as that. Just need to visit developers.google.com and go into Android and select the download options. Once it is downloaded, it is there in your system. Now, in order to install it, we will just double click it. Let's see this installation process. And let me guide you through how you can very simply and easily install Android Studio on your system. So as soon as you double click on it, you will get this dialog box uh, that Android Studio uh, wants to change your device. Just give it that yes permission so that it can go into and install this system uh, on your computer. Okay, so now here is a simple setup. Uh, welcome to Android Studio. Let's just click on next. It will ask you which components you want to install. Do ensure you have virtual device clicked because this is what we will be needing for the, our emulator. Uh, to emulate the Android application on my PC. So the space required is 25 gig. So do ensure that wherever you're going to install it, you have 25 gigabytes of space available. So if I click on next, uh, what I will do is I will go inside my D drive and I will just say that install this in my D drive rather than my C. I think it's already f filling up. And then uh, it will ask you, do, you do I should I create the icon? And I said, yes, next, next. Okay, that's it. That's the basic process of installing Android Studio. Double click on it, ask permission, next, next, that's it. So most people do ask me, how do we install Android Studio and what should we, what should we do? This is the, as simple and basic steps that you are required to do. No fuss involved, okay? So let, let it run, it's installing and we wait till it's complete. Took less than two minutes to complete the installation and you see the installation was successfully completed. Click on next and now my installation is all done. Start Android Studio, okay? So that's all it requires you to install it. It takes less than two minutes. Very simple and very basic process of installing Android Studio. Now, uh, let's just start it up and see how what we, things we can do. So now, uh, we started and Android Studio is starting and it's asking us that uh, what should we do? Configure uh, installation directory or do not import settings, okay? So if you have previous versions of Android Studio and you want to import older settings, basically this is where we go and we ask them to import our previous settings. But since we are doing a fresh installation, clean installation, um, just say do not import any other settings and it will just go at the default mode. And here is the Android Studio's new cover, latest Android Studio version 2023.1 for 2001 edition as we refer it to nowadays. Uh, it's PowerPoint Intelligent Day and just wait a few seconds so it boots up. downloading some add-ons allow Google to collect usage status data usually this basically means that uh, Google will collect your usage data and send it to their servers so that they can monitor uh, how Google Android Studio is behaving I don't like that to do that so I just currently say don't send now this is uh, Android Studio has started up we have got the screen available okay perfect so if you get to this point basically means your Android Studio was installed 
perfectly can and everything is working fine so you see there's no big an issue and there's no big problem you can just simply download and install it click on next and it will ask you whether choose to which type of uh, android studio you want standard or customized for our sake because we are doing in the first and basics of this we just need a standard version right now click on next it will ask you whether you want to work in a dracula dark mode or a lighter mode now and now times it's preferred that you use a darker mode it's much more uh, lighter on your eyes and you would be spending hours and hours working on android studio so this would be a much more um, comfortable on your eyes you know darker mode so we just go with this and we say um, okay i don't want that and you see this next and now it asks me that if you want to review or change any of the following installation or following settings so we have emulator already available sdks and all these tools are already uh, patched um, I said, okay, I just want everything to be there. Click on finish. Okay. Once you do that, it will go into and complete your installation. Okay. Now, this is where sometimes it creates more confusion that I installed it, I ran it, and then again, it's not showing up. And if there is an internet problem, it might not uh, complete the installation. And every time you come here, this is where it will uh, create a problem for you. Okay. So, do ensure you complete the installation. Uh, by coming at till this particular point because it requires some additional APIs that will be downloaded from internet. So if I click on show download, it will tell you that it's preparing, it's downloading from this particular server, a particular platform tools. Okay. So it requires an active internet connection while you're downloading it and it will go onto the web and download few other things other than the file you initially downloaded. So if you downloaded one file, it doesn't mean that that's the complete package. It would mean that that's the initial package. It will install few signs. It will ask you for a few additional settings. And then again, it will connect to the internet and download few more things. This is the part that some people don't tend to understand. They think that, okay, once we have a one gig of file, which almost is a one gig of file, that should be it, but that's not it. It requires additional files as well. And that's where your installation and people tend to think, oh, what's it doing? It, they just sometimes go and click cancel. The next time come up and it just doesn't start up. So do ensure, again, I will reiterate, uh, once you install this file, it will ask you for a few additional settings. Just click next and then click on next finish. It will again go on the online server and download and install these files. Okay. So I will get back to you when this downloading and installation is. Okay. So once the installation is complete, um, the basic installation is everything is complete. It will ask you for again to allow this to run some services so just click on yes and once it is done it will install the remaining components install hexen this is again essential for the simulator and i think the installation is complete so now you see uh, this time hopefully the installation of android sdk is complete with all its required packages being installed and everything okay so what we do is we click on finish button and hopefully now you will get this new dialog box showing that uh, project window that will allow you to ask create a new project so this basically means that if you reach to this point this will basically mean that now you have created and installed your uh, you have downloaded and installed and configured your android studio correctly and completely and everything okay so remember it's, it's like in two stages you download it you install it you run it it will install and then it will again ask you for some more additional files to be downloaded and installed then it will be completed once it's completed now it's come to here and we click on the new project and we can begin installing and selecting whatever project we want to develop. So from this point forward, we will be working on the next video. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel to keep updated on the new videos that I keep posting on Android development and mobile web development. Thank you. This is Dr. Shanbhati signing off.